why did I buy this saw for my secondary backup saw? Why did I purchase this particular chainsaw? Let's get this saw out of the box. What do we have here? In my opinion, one of the most common mistakes folks make with chainsaws is fuel mixture. This saw is 50 to 1, and it really needs to be close to 50 to 1. And probably when people run into starting problems and running problems and having trouble with their two-cycle engines, in my opinion, one of the most probable reasons is not mixing the fuel right. So I always go to the gas station and measure in exactly one gallon and I get the non-ethanol fuel. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's really worth it to get non-ethanol, good old fashioned gasoline. And I measure in exactly one gallon at the pump and then I mix in the oil. And every time I use my oil gas mixture, I really shake it up and get it good and mixed because of course it's sitting in your garage or shed or whatever it's going to separate out what do you think is a common problem why people have trouble with two cycle engines let me know in the comments so a store in our area it is a chain store i won't mention the name of the store where i bought this saw be good bonnie the reason i bought it is the reason I bought this is because it was on sale for $99. It was Black Friday sale. And I've been looking for a backup saw since we moved here. I have a big saw that I use for cutting you know, down the dead trees and that to use for firewood. And since we've been here, I've been looking for a little saw to use for limbing and trimming and small stuff. And I, I just haven't been able to find one that I liked. And this was on sale for $99, and even though it's big, and it has a 18 inch blade, I really just wanted a little tiny saw, but for 99 bucks, I couldn't pass it up. So I bought it on Black Friday, and that's been like two weeks ago, but the crazy weather, it's been raining, or it's been wicked cold, or whatever, so, I finally decided today I better get it out and get it warmed up and give it a try. So let's have at it. Fill up the fuel tank. Make sure you always fill up the oiler tank with chain oil. Would you own one of these? Let me know in the comments if you would buy one of these chainsaws. What's your favorite? Let me know. Always, always, always wear ear and eye protection.
Well, that was pretty slick. Cuts really nice. It's way bigger than I really wanted. I just wanted a little tiny chainsaw. I even considered getting one of those electric battery operated ones for just limbing small stuff. Because I have my professional big saw for cutting stuff like what I've just been cutting here in the video. This was just what I had available in a test. And I really don't need another saw for big wood, but hey, at $99, what can you say? Would you do it? Let me know in the comments if this was something you'd get or what would your be option be? What would you buy? Here's some smaller stuff. This size wood is more typical of what I plan to use this saw for. I hope you enjoyed this chainsaw video. Share with a friend if you have somebody that needs to cut up their own wood interested in a chainsaw, what model they should get. And I'm really interested to know what you think. Living happy, fun loving, and carefree. Live life DIY.